This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Check out the Southtown Hyundai Advantage at southtownhyundai.ca. I was in the drive-thru, and as soon as I was about to pull up around the corner to the window, my tire rubbed against the side, the curb. Oh, no. I was like, oh, no. Well, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I've never done it before. Way Scra- she goes. Scrape up your rim bird again? I don't know. So... I'm driving down the white mud and I see all this construction and it's on the opposite side of the road. So I'm just cruising by and then I start smelling s- rubber and I'm like, oh, they're just doing the, the road, whatever. But then I get on to, what is it? Gateway Boulevard, Calgary Trail, uh, Gateway Boulevard. And I could still smell it. I'm like, my tires, what did I do? So I pull over because I'm freaking out at this point. I get out and I look. I don't see anything. It's still dark out. Get back in my car. Get to work. As soon as I pull in, I realize, oh, it's my pleather jacket. I put my heated seats on for the first oh. time this season. <laughs> and the whole car smelled like burning rubber. That's what happens when you wear fake leather, Lisa. You think everything's breaking around you. No, it's just your terrible fashion sense. <laughs> hey, thanks for listening. We uh, do appreciate it very much. Talking about strange requests you've had in the bedroom or behind closed doors. As there's a new trend happening online, I'll get to that in a minute. But some of the texts that are rolling in are pretty intense. My ex-boyfriend loved when I spoke when I spoke French to him. I don't speak French very well, though. It was always really odd. <laughs> You just be like, bonjour, je m'appelle Lisa. And just repeat that over and over again. Bon la mousse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this text says, when I was going to the U of A, I posted on Kijiji that I was up for tackling some random jobs for money, walking dogs, cutting grass, etc. Sending pictures of your feet. Anyway, Is that the answer? No. Oh. A guy paid me to feed him wet dog food while in a princess dress. I've asked how much. No response yet. But I'll let you know. Dog food. Wet dog food while in a princess dress. Should I be offended that no one's ever asked me anything? Like that? Uh, I think it's because you're too judgmental. What? Yeah, if somebody did ask you something like that, you would like make fun of them to their face and then you'd call your friends on speakerphone and tell them while the guy sat in the room embarrassed. I'm not trustworthy. Uh, I'd say you're okay. Trust- you're just too judgmental. Okay, okay, whatever. Yeah. So what is this new trend that's happening online where people are being asked to do weird things? Puppy girls uh, growing in popularity, especially on OnlyFans. So you just pose with a dog? No, no. They're young women who role play as dogs and their masters tell them what to do. What? Quite often online. They'll have one-on-one conversations with someone who will tell them to like play fetch or beg for food, chew on a toy. Really strange stuff. I would never do that. See? Judgmental. (laughs) You really wouldn't, though? I don't think so. Uh, This one girl, Jenna, says she makes $10,000 a month. What? Doing it. Yeah. Ruff, ruff. (laughs) <laughs> Time for another episode of Animal Facts with Lisa. Don't act like you don't need something to talk about at the water cooler. Yesterday, we did come uh, to an amazing discovery that when bears hibernate, they're actually not sleeping the whole time. Yeah, we definitely grew up learning this in elementary and being like, wow, how do they sleep for like months right. straight? No, they're just, they're just chilling. They're bored. Yeah, they're so bored. So today, your animal fact is about... Oct- not Octopus. A, not a animal from the land. Okay, you could just go ahead. Octopus. They're probably the coolest animals. I'm reading this from my friend Adam's Facebook status. Okay? He travels a lot. He knows a lot about animals. I thought this was great. He says, the largest species of octopus can grow 30 inches across and weigh 600 pounds. The smallest is 2.5 centimeters and weighs less than a gram. They only live for four years, Mm. and that's the big ones. Common octopus live about a year, and they mate once and then die. Um, They're easily the smartest creatures in the ocean, but none of their intelligence is learned from their mom or dad. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You don't think that that's interesting, that they mate once and then die? I mean, there's a few people I'd do that. Yeah, they die doing what they love. Jennifer Aniston. 
Okay, we don't need the details. Anyway, this is, I just thought this was all really interesting. The only thing we haven't learned yet is how to say a plural. Is it octopi or the other one? The Octopussers. <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you for another exhilarating round of animal facts. You're welcome. Download the Play 107 app today. My story is from Michigan. I shared it on our Facebook page and our Instagram story, Play 107. You will love this picture. A young father went to a local animal shelter to look at chickens. The last thing that he was expecting to do was come home with a puppy, but he saw a black and white pup with a cleft lip, just like his little son. So he had to get the dog and the pictures of the son with this puppy. It will make your week. Go look at it. Tell me something good. Uh, My story is about a greenhouse in Montreal that is on the rooftop of a building. It's the size of three football fields and looks like something out of Star Trek. Anyway, uh, it's rumbling now. It's producing enough food to feed feed nearly 2% of Montreal's population, even in the winter. Like, that's how much food it's growing. Oh, wow. Plus, it saves a lot of emissions and costs on getting food from outside the city into the city. So, all in all, it's just amazing. It also, like, helps insulate the building. It's a really smart idea, and more and more cities are doing this now with large greenhouse space on top of buildings. Okay. Tell me something good. Wednesday. Hey, cloth masks. We get it. My breath is bad. (laughs) Hey, Miley. We get it. You don't want normal hair. I love her mullet right now. But she does use a bit too much gel. Like, I don't know. I didn't know gel was back in. Someone up, update me. Like, send me a blog post. Well, I it is know, now. Is She's it? a trendsetter. Hey, those who don't put the weights back where they belong in the gym, we get it. You probably also haven't filed your taxes in years. That's just what I think when you don't put the weights back. Quit being lazy. Hey, Jin. We get it when we're craving tasting a Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. So true. Also, gin and tonic just taste like bile. No. It does. Don't wreck it. Hey, those of us that are telling us it's okay to accept our quarantine weight, we get it. Wait, we don't get it because you haven't gained a pound. (laughs) But please tell me more. You should write a book. I'd love to hear more about your opinions and your advice. Thank you. Hey, old people, we get it. You drive like you have all the time in the world, but I've got some bad news for you. Don't. People are living to be very old now, you know. But get where you're going. Hustle. Hey, iced coffee, we get it. Ew, gross, you're disgusting. I hate when my hot coffee gets cold. Well, that is unless I ordered it that way. Then, mmm. Isn't that weird? How, like, you'll be eating a hot, drinking a hot coffee, and then it gets cold, and you're like, oh, gross. Ugh, I'm done with it. Yet, we order it, too. And finally, hey, climate change. We Greta it. Oh, that's good. How old are you turning there, birthday boy? 25. 25? Oh, perfect. You're going to love what we have as a gift for you. All right. What do you got? It's uh, two passes to get into Drive Wim, the new go-kart track in West Edmonton Mall. Oh, that's sick. And it's the only multi-level... Racetrack in all of North America. Yeah, multi-floor, and, and it's three levels. It's so dope. Yeah, we went and checked it out. They're not open yet, and they actually don't have an open date um, officially yet, but you're going to be probably one of the first people in there because you got passes. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And we've got a birthday song for you as well. Yeah. It's a new style of singing happy birthday. Where we just say the word birthday, nothing else. Are you ready? (laughs) Yeah, I'm ready. Birthday. 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 
say it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> You're welcome. Before we get into this, can you give us your Britney impression you've been working on? I don't want to make fun of Britney, but I am very, keep in mind, I'm very concerned about her. Yes. She posted a video on her Instagram story yesterday and it went like this. Some of you have been asking me about why I've been wearing the same outfit in all of my stories. They are not from the same day. Yes, I have in fact worn the same shirt 17 <laughs> times in a row. It sounds exactly I'm so like I'm so worried about Brit. Every, I think of her every single day. All right, we want to talk about uh, TV shows and some of the fabricated drama. This in light of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians being canceled and me saying I don't like that show because it seemed like every bit of drama was completely fake. Uh, but I guess that's the case for a lot of things. Singing competitions make you ham up your struggles for the viewers. Well, keep in mind, remember a couple years ago when me and a limo full of listeners went down to Calgary to audition to be on The Bachelor? Mm -hmm. We were all asked, like, what is the biggest struggle you've overcome in your life? And the one girl that got a call back was the one who's had brain surgery. They right. didn't even care about any of the other girls, regardless of how attractive they were, cool, funny. The, it didn't right. matter. They want the unique angles. Yeah, they this do. Yeah. Jenny, who was on one of the shows, said that on the first application form, they were asked the most difficult moment in their life, what obstacles there you go. they'd overcome to get there, and if they'd ever experienced bullying, and then they tried to pull those stories out of her as they interviewed her. When I was in Vancouver, in the airport, I saw them filming what I believe was, at the time, um, Real House wives of Vancouver mm -hmm. and they just refilmed these women walking down the ramp with their luggage like 20 times so it wasn't legit it wasn't legit live following these people around they it was strategic yeah. it's so strange to see it firsthand 780-784-7107 what's up man uh you guys are talking about like the uh, fake drama and stuff on shows yeah i used to work with a guy his uncle was on ice road truckers what's ice road hookers no no tr he said truckers ice road truckers yeah. that makes way more sense okay continue and he said how they would purposely with no one in the driver's seat crash them into the ditch and then get everything rigged up so in a safe way and then the driver would get in and pretend like he just crashed into <gasps> no. the ditch. Oh. yeah i told my co i told a buddy of mine that and he looked so sad. And I was like, what's wrong? He's like, oh, that's my favorite show. Oh, no. <laughs> and I totally ruined it for him. Weird Day Wednesday is a segment we're bringing back after Ashley requested to hear it again. Yeah. It's fun hearing some other people's dating fails, especially if you've had some struggles yourself. Yeah. Rena wrote in saying she went on a date recently, showed up to the restaurant. He wasn't even wearing a mask. She left. Ooh. But was he already seated? They were probably outside the restaurant, is my assumption. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm out. Anti-masker? And we're not going to get along is probably how her mind was like processing this. I would feel bad for the guy if he was wearing one, went and sat down and was following <laughs> protocol right? and then took it off and she comes in and then ditches after she sees his face. I do find it weird that like we're, we have to wear a mask and then as soon as you're at the table, you take it off. Yeah, I guess it's the airflow of like walking behind the people and stuff. It's really hard to eat with them on too. Trust <laughs> me. Yeah, it's true. Uh, 780-784-7107 is our number. Hit us up if you've got a weird date tale. Uh, I was with one of my best friends a couple days ago. We just went for like a nice uh, coffee date and we were reminiscing about the time that she went on a Bumble date. And as soon as she sat down with the guy, she was like, I've already hooked up with this guy. And she's like, so where do you work? And he says, and she's like, yeah, knew that answer. <laughs> and so she went through with the whole date and then leaves and she calls me instantly. She's like, Lisa, what do I do? I'm like, you should tell him. That's hilarious. So she sends him a text. She's like, hey, funny story. We've already been together. And he instantly blocked her. What? And then we realized... Oh my gosh, this guy thinks you knew that the whole time. Yeah, he thought he was going on he a thinks, second date. He and thinks that you again. are crazy. Yeah. So I'd love to hear that guy's side of the story because that is an amazing situation. <laughs> uh, what was your strange dating experience, sir? So I showed up at the coffee shop and sat down and grabbed a booth and this lady walks in. I don't know what she looked like or nothing. She's got these coloring books and stuff and I thought, well, well that's going to need you meeting her kid or something or I don't know. And So then she introduced herself and it's this lady I'm supposed to meet. <laughs> she pulls the coloring books out and she says, which one do you want? She says, I like this one. You can have this one. So I don't even really get a choice. And she pulled out the crayons and says, okay, go ahead. 
And we can talk while we color because it reduces the stress. I think it reduces the stress. I can't even stay inside the damn lines for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, to, trying to figure out what's going on here. Is this a psychological evaluation or yeah. a date? Did she let you keep the picture you drew? Well, no, she... I don't know if she kept it for some kind of analysis or something. <laughs> I don't know what what the hell. And, and then on top of that, I didn't even get the, the good book. She had one like like kind of a Hot Wheels one and a Barbie one. I have to do the Barbie one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Back when I was 18 years old, I was working for a probation office. On a Friday night, we went to a bar, my friends and I. I met up with this guy named Alan. And he... Bought his drinks, did all that kind of stuff, and the Monday after, I went back to work and I found out that the guy that was reporting was actually Alan, seeing a probation officer, <laughs> and part of his conditions of release were not to drink, not to be on after nine o'clock, all that kind of stuff. His jaw dropped, my jaw dropped, and asked if I knew him, and I was like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah. Play 107. All right, Matt, you're going to be our judge for the clean joke off. Okay. So there's going to be a potentially three rounds. Uh, you just tell us who wins each round and has a better joke. Sounds good. What did one plate say to the other? What? Dinner is on me. Okay. Uh, okay. A, sh- a ship carrying red paint collided with a ship carrying blue paint. Hundreds of sailors were marooned. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Okay, so who won that round? That was Ryder. Yeah, it's okay. quite obvious there was such an awkward silence after mine. <laughs> All right, next round. Matt, what is brown, hairy, and wears sunglasses? I don't really want to know. A coconut on vacation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Matt, ask me if I'm a truck. Ryder, are you a truck? No. That's the joke? <laughs> That's pretty lame, Ryder. I'll All give right. that one to Lisa. Yes! All right. Go down to the rubber match. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What did the Dalmatian say after lunch break? What? That hit the spot. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. A termite walks into a bar and asks, is the bartender here? Oh, that's good. Wow. Because he wants to eat the bar? Yeah. Is the bartender here? That's good. Uh, I'm going to give that one to Lisa, actually. Woo! Sorry. Okay. Dogs rule. No, sorry. Your phone's breaking no, up there a bit. we already got his info. He won, he won the tickets. Whatever. Ryder and Lisa. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Play 107.